G'day guys, welcome back. It's been a little bit. Um, today we've got a, uh, who knows what this one's going to do, to be honest with you. It's a Subaru Outback 2008 model, 2.5 litre petrol. Basically it's coming from another shop. The um, I, know, I know the shop owner is a really good bloke, um, but he doesn't have a scope or anything. So basically this car uh, is most of the time, it's a crank no start for a few seconds and then it eventually starts. And he said that there's no spark for that first few seconds. Um, it's replaced the camera crank sensors, but it hasn't made a difference. And I offered to have a look for him and he sent it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hook the scope uh, up to uh, the crank sensor and um, I'll also hook it up to uh, the secondary pickup and see I'll grab that off a lead and see if we can see crank sensor versus spark and see if this crank sensor is faulty it is an aftermarket one um, whether that's faulty or not who knows but we'll connect it up and let's have it a go all right we're connected we've got the crank sensor under here I've got a little cable tie set up to keep it away from the belt. Um, we've got the secondary pickup on one of the leads. So let's, we are on the screen here. So I'm gonna start the scope with the button. How awesome is that? Boom, press the button, running. Let's give it a go. Mm. Oh, there you go. Got it. Let's go and have a look. So we have both now. Let's have a good look here. What is going on? Let me turn channel one off. Channel one's a crank sensor. Channel two is the firing of the spark. And we got spark there. So if I can, uh, actually, it's the first time I've actually really used this properly. I don't use this enough because I sort of packed it away a little bit. Um, but I will be using it more once I get my new toolbox, which has a little hutch set up. So mm, I was hoping that I could move that down and away. But regardless, so if we, what does this do? Ah, there we go. So you can see, we're only firing here. We have no spark before. So let's have a look at that crank signal. Let's zoom in. Uh, zoom window would be better. Oh, I'm gonna zoom out. Sorry guys. I still gotta get used to how to use this thing properly. Okay, zoom window, let's zoom here, and let's get the pan hand. Okay, so, yep, yeah, that looks okay. That looks okay as well. This all doesn't look that bad. It's not corrupted or anything like that. Pan hand again, so there. So yeah, we've got no no activity, uh, and then all of a sudden it comes to life, and then we start. So obviously the previous tech is definitely right. It's definitely got no spark on startup. I don't think it's anything to do with the crank sensor, because that although the, obviously the amplitude is quite low, but we're only cranking RPM, you know, two three hundred RPM. So. I'm not worried about that amplitude. Hmm, very interesting. Okay, so, if we had a good crank signal and we have no spark, then we obviously have an ignition coil down here. So let me just put this down. So we have an ignition coil here with four wires on it. So I think what I'm gonna do next is 
connect up to all four wires on the ignition coil and leave these two wires. So we've got a crank sensor, we're going to have our secondary pickup and we're going to have a scope on all four wires there. I'm assuming it's going to be one power, one ground and two control commands from the PCM for each bank. So let's get a diagram and let's have a quick look. All right, so we have the diagram here. Let me get my little pointer. There's our ignition coil. We have two, pin two is the power, pin three is the ground, and then we have our control commands for the spark to each bank. So that one and that one. So pin one and pin four. So I'm gonna connect up the, um, probes back probes or whatever I can get down there I don't know what I can get down there it's a bit of a shit spot to be honest with you but um, I'm gonna connect all that up and then we're gonna have six channels so power and ground our ECU control for both banks one each crank sensor and the secondary pickup and then let's see what we get on the scope all right we're all connected up so we have crank sensor we have all four wires on the ignition coil we have a secondary pickup on one of the leads so here we go this is what we have so what i can tell you is that ignition coil power is yellow ignition coil ground is red ignition coil command from the pcm for bank one or two doesn't really matter one is blue and one is green for bank to bank white is our crank sensor and obviously purple is our secondary pickup as you can see not much action here you see our secondary pickup starts firing about here if i just turn everything off except the secondary pickup in the crank so you can see the crank and the correlation between the two we are cranking for ages but we have no output from our coil or we have no spark from our coil even though we have our power ground and command so if i go back to the white we can zoom in down here let me pick a bit of that pan hand this, there's nothing wrong with this crank sensor the amplitude's fine because we've got low rpm and if we go over here we see that eventually boom it starts right there so if we zoom out a little bit Go pan hand, move it up a bit, and you can see we're firing now, even though nothing else has changed. If I show you, so let's get the commands on. They're all there. They're the firing commands for both banks. And then if we get the power, or we get the ground, you can see we've got a little spike there, but I'm not, not concerned about that because it's the same. It's pretty much the same once it's running anyway. And we get our power back up. 12 volts. Obviously running voltage with the alternator so if we zoom out to full i'm convinced this just needs an ignition coil so let's put one in and see how it goes okay so unfortunately we weren't able to prove the coil fixed it uh, our friend wanted to pick the car up he ordered a genuine subaru coil and i told him to send me a video please so we could finish off this uh, YouTube video and he has sent a video to us and I'll leave you with that video. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time Alrighty Seven o'clock in the morning Doing a cold start test on the Subaru Had Rob Romano do a um, diagnostic and a video on it for us really um, Really interesting stuff when he um, when you watch it so we put the new coil on. It took us a few days to get a new one in. It came from um, the Eastern States, genuine Subaru we went with. Wasn't cheap. So let's see how she starts now with the new coil. So before we were getting three, four cranks, no fire. Hit it again, few cranks, no fire, and then bang, it just hit. Within two cranks, bam, we've got it going. So yeah, problem solved. Thank you very much, Romano Automotives.